we're just reassessing our camp here. We're going to go in for about two days and uh, climb this vertical ridge back behind us here. It's nasty, steep country, but we already got four bears on the trip between all of us and what, like 31 sheds? Yeah, it's something crazy. So we're doing really good. We're going to eat a little bit, got our packs loaded, and then we're going to start cranking up this mountain, hopefully kill a bear sometime today. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, what does that cinnamon roll package say? Because I love you. Who would tell you that? The bakery people. That's weird. My wife, Charlotte's Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another awesome adventure into God's Limitless Outdoors. This week, Colton and I are going steep and deep into the backcountry in pursuit of our last two black bears. This was an absolute amazing hunt and we got some spectacular footage of some spectacular things happening. So I hope that you enjoy this hunt as much as we enjoyed making it. Right here. We've never been in here before, but where we hunted bears on this other side over here, where we hunted bears on this other side, looks, real, looks like this. And so we're coming up into this drainage. You can see this is all cliffy and grassy. We're just, we're gnawing our way back into this drainage here. And what we want to do is come back into here where all this meets. See that? Right there, we're going to come back into here and we're going to hunt all this back country. There's going to be some bears in here, son. I ain't your son. I'm your brother. Let's do it. There's that old adage that says it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And uh, as I've grown as a hunter, I have really begun to value not so much the destination, but the journey. As you're, you're working up these drainages and up to these ridge tops, the new ground is unfolding to you. You're finding different things. You're seeing different things. Uh, and that's really, those are the things that you remember. Those are the things that really shape the whole experience. Uh, and that is what I've begun to value so much as a hunter is the journey to the top. They're gonna run right into, they just came right into each other. The wolves made it around to the draw? Yeah, they're watching the mule deer right now. I can see one right on the ridge. Up above the mule deer side? No, they're, dead, they're dead on the mule deer. Okay. There's the mule deer and then you see the ponderosas on our ridge? Yep. They're right in there. There they go, see all the mule deer running? Yep. Here comes the wolf. They're, the wolves ran under him. Yep, I see him. They're going for it. Uh, you know, there's done. One in the ponderosas. No, the wolves are running down from him. I see him. He's up to the left. That looks like a herd of bucks. We should go kill a wolf and go pick up some sheds. That's a nice black one. That'd be mine, right? Yep. We can kill him. We should. We go make a play on those wolves and then drop down that ridge and hunt him. I agree. What do you think, G? Wolves are bedded up right now on that same okay, ridge. Let's see if we can sneak in there. We're gonna see if we can whack a couple wolves, maybe a bear. Again, a lot of elevation here in there. Colton spotted three wolves over here. I spotted a bear in the bottom. So we're gonna swing around. It looks like the wolves might've gone over into the basin and bedded down, it's the middle of the day. So they're probably not real active. So if we can uh, if we can get up on this little vantage point here and do a little calling, I think one might stand up and Colton will get a shot at him since he spotted him. He's first shooter of me. I'm second shooter, I'm like the cleanup shooter after the first guy almost botches the whole thing. Do the old switcheroo. Yeah. On one, two. Yeah, on one, two. Kansas City shuffle. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Wolves look we that way, in, we look that way. We are in a major predator zone here. We can't find a shed to save our lives like everybody else. But my goodness, we are predator hunting machines. We are, we are predator's predator. Uh, 
And we got a bear right down here. a cinnamon and the arrangement Colton and I made was if we saw another cinnamon it would be mine since I killed one since he killed an absolute tank and if it was a black bear it would be his and so we have a black bear down here but we also have a cinnamon so I think we're going to prioritize the cinnamon what do you think you think we're going to make this happen or not yeah but how I think there's a do we need to get up on yeah the I think range? I think there's about a 97 percent stand chance Barring some substantial hunter error here, then I'm gonna kill that bear, and then we'll kill the black bear too. And then there's two wolves running around here somewhere, and there's an elk shed over there. And there's an elk shed, but we're gonna probably camp up in the head end of this base, and we're probably five or six miles off the river right now. And a stupid amount of elevation. It's a good spot. <laughs> lukewarm. You weren't all the way in. You weren't all the way out. You were just kind of there. And there's this reality. Jesus says, I just spit you out of my mouth at this point. There's this principle. When God created this world and he created everything in it, there's a principle of diligence and commitment and hard work. And lukewarm gets you nowhere in life. In fact, in Matthew chapter 16, Jesus says, if anyone desires to be my disciple, if anyone desires it, he must first deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Jesus calls us to be all in. And, and that's where life is with Christ. That's when you start really living is when you're all in, man. When you're, when you're six miles in a drainage like this and you're just dripping sweat and you're close to the bears and you can hear them honking. That's living, man. Living is not sitting in your pickup, looking up at the hillside, wondering if you could even get up there, or wishing you could. It's all in, it's committing. And so I just wanna challenge you today. Maybe you're just kinda of like lukewarm with Jesus. Maybe you go to church every once in a while, your parents were Christians, maybe you were baptized when you were young. Look, Jesus says none of that cuts it. He wants people that are all in. He wants people that are six miles deep with him. He wants people that deny themselves, that live totally radically different, filled with the Spirit, just power, empowered and full of joy all the time and just walking with Him and going wherever He goes and doing whatever He asks you to do. And that's where life is lived, man. It's in the back of these basins and life is lived when you're all in with Jesus. So I just challenge you if, you, don't, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus or maybe you've just been lukewarm, go over to our website. I want, if these words are touching you, I want you to go over to our website, limitlesshunting.com. There's a resource on there called the first mile that we wrote. It's like the first mile of your relationship with Jesus, what it means to walk with Jesus, to live a life completely committed to Jesus and what that looks like. And uh, I just encourage you, that's free. We want to send it to you. Just go over to our website. Anyway, we're going to go try and kill these bears right now. So we're all in, man. We are all in. We're staying the night up here and it's going to be a heavy pack out.
of cinnamon, right? bear fed away from us right around the ridge he was on so we quickly moved down our ridge and a little bit closer and got set up again and within a couple of minutes we spotted a bear This trip had already been unreal and it was just unfolding better and better every moment. When Colton looked down and saw this bear, we knew that we were on the cusp of pulling off a double header. He looks pretty good. Are you videoing him? Yeah. That's your bear if you want. Okay, what do you want to do about the far one? I'll shoot him in a minute. You just take a shot at this one. Okay, get on the camera. Switch. Yeah, yeah, hold on. If you want to shoot him, you can. Should I? Yeah. Got him. Down. Okay. There must be a bear on Colton hit this bear absolutely perfectly, and you can watch as he just goes loose after a couple of strides. That bear's moving. He's just sitting up. Help. I'm ready when you are. Watch the sun. It blinds you. He's laying down. Ready? Yep. This was one of the most difficult shots I have ever made. We were shooting almost directly into the sun and neither Colton or I could see through our camera or scope on this bear. Not sure. I can't see anything Colton. There he is. I think I'm on him. Yep. Missed. Did I get him? No, missed. Do you believe? Colton and I weren't exactly sure what had happened. The visibility was extremely poor, but I felt extremely confident about my two shots. So we turned off the camera and reviewed the footage, and to our surprise and delight, both of the shots had hammered this bear. I cannot stress enough how important shot follow-up is. It is so easy to lose animals and think you see one thing, but something different actually happened. It's one of the greatest values uh, and resources that we have is being able to video our shots. And, and I would just highly recommend that if you are a long range shooter uh, and you have the time, I really recommend setting up a camera. It is unbelievable how many animals get lost 
because what you see and what reality is are sometimes two totally different things. See what happens here? I know. That's a dead bear. What a twist ending. We got him. It is a good deal. Got a nice black bear. Oh my gosh. I think, look at his head. Oh man. How cool is that? What a beast. Huh. Crazy. Yeah, that's a good bear. This trip has just been absolutely unreal so far. Uh, Colton and I killed two good bears on the other side of the river and then we hiked up in here and man, we just went and went and went and we saw some wolves and we've just been pounding all day. It's getting towards evening now. And uh, this bear here was laying in the snow patch and then Colton's bear popped out on the lower ridge there. So we decided Colton's was closer. We let him shoot his first and this one stayed put. And then I hammered him when he was laying there in the snow and he ran up the hill here and I gave him another one and he went right down, but absolute, I just, you know, I've been hunting, or what did we talk about earlier today? I've been hunting for 20 something years now. And I was telling my brother when we got here that this is gonna be just an unbelievably special trip. I mean, it's just rare that everything comes together and it's so good to recognize when you got a special moment like this. Just absolutely amazing. And uh, who knows what tomorrow has in store for us. <laughs> we have to work this bear up and then we're gonna head down and work up Colton's and then make camp down here uh, and then see, we've been glassing a bunch and uh, still, we saw those wolves yesterday, so who knows what'll be in store for tomorrow. So we'll just see what we can do. We're gonna play around and try and pack all this stuff out of here. So absolutely amazing, gonna get to work and just cannot be more happy with how this trip has gone. We've got four bears on the ground now. We haven't picked up many sheds, but man, just absolutely amazing memories. Good, hard spot and stock hunting at its best right here. So unreal, unreal. So privileged to be up here. A big old head on him. These moments are absolutely surreal. I mean, if you've hunted for any length of time and you're watching this video right now, you know that things just don't come together like this very often. Uh, and so when they do, man, I've just learned to take it in to its fullest and just enjoy the moment. And they're often just very somber and, and quiet moments that you spend around these animals and with your friends, and in my case, with my brother. Uh, and this was just an absolutely spectacular hunt. Could not ask for anything more. You find a big two point, you use big two point. Popcorn, cookies, smokies, all up on the side of the mountain. Middle of nowhere. Lap of luxury. What we're doing here is digging out little sheep beds for the night. I'm already in bed. I already dug mine out. We got the fire going. Colton's digging a sheep bed. This is steep ground we're hunting here. No flat spots, so we're just digging little beds for our. Got an air mattress and sleeping bags on top. Night, Colton. Night. I just want to thank you for joining us on this hunt. And I want to remind you that next week is the grand finale of The Balance when Colton and I put down two beautiful black wolves. So I invite you to join us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to click the button and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date whenever we release new content. 
And I just want you to remember before you go that Jesus loves you and he has a purposeful, meaningful life waiting for you. Grab a hold of it. Grab a hold of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you've done. It matters what you do now. Receive his grace and the eternal life he wants to give to you. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Bill, go. Okay, here, you can find the gun. I think it's worth two wolves. Yeah.